So in this video, uh, I'm going to try to quickly go through um, creating a, a, a animated sprite using a sprite sheet in uh, processing using Python. And I'm using a, a sheet that uh, from the notes in this video is linked uh, through this game uh, development tutorial. And uh, it, this is a great starting point. It talks about animation and um, how sprite sheets can work and uh, it would be uh, worthwhile reading this uh, as, w as well as uh, watching this video. Um, the video kind of assumes you already know how to load images and, uh, and you know, you're familiar with maybe the 2D array video where we kind of cycle through an array and, and draw that on the screen. Though that's not, we're not using a 2D array, and, but it's a similar idea. So if you watch that video, that might help as well. So I'll start out by just um, creating the usual uh, 800 by 600 uh, for, uh, window here and um, and, I and I will uh, just throw this on my desktop for now and I need to grab this image and place it into my um, data folder for this for this uh, for this sketch so my data folder if uh, it's off the screen here but I go under the sketch menu item and it says show sketch folder and I'll create a folder data folder and I will pull this image into that folder so there it is now it's in there so I should be able to load this I'll just quickly load this as a as an image so I'll up here I will uh, use a load image and uh, I'll just dump it on the screen to just make sure it's working. So I'll call it Sprite. And this is going to be something we need ac access to from Draw. So this is needs to be a global. And I'll throw it on the screen at uh, the top left. So there it is being loaded up and never quite sure what our um, situation is with uh, scope and processing because it uh, the uh, anyway so the <laughs> so definitely needs to be global and so what we're so what we need to do is kind of just use uh, one 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 chunk of it so um, uh, this image is um, I can just open it up for a moment in preview on the Mac. I'll just re look at the size and I can see that it's 500 by 500. So what I need to do is um, just divide that by four. There's four of those images. So I know it's 125. It's 125 uh, wide and 125 high. So what I want to do is copy out you know, just the first frame I want to copy from 0, 0 down to 125, 125. And that's using the copy command, which uh, looks like this. Um, we're using this second form here. So we're copying from a source, and we're specifying the dimensions uh, in terms of the upper left corner, x and y, and the width and height. And then we're going to this is the destination is the canvas the the screen and we're going to specify its position in terms of x and y and width and height so so this will be rather than image we're going to do do a copy and we know it's 125 by 125 i'll just uh i'll just create create that as a variable up here so and then we're copying it. I'll just copy it back into um, the upper left corner. So we see the first uh, image. And if I move 125 to the right, I'll see the second. We'll see the second image. If I move uh, down, we'll see the fifth or sixth image uh, from the sprite sheet. So we saw we saw this one at zero zero I moved over to the right 125 so then we saw we saw this second image and then I s said y went down 125 so that's that when we saw image six so what we want this we want this we want we want to animate this we want to programmatically kind of cycle through the uh, 
each of the frames on the sprite sheet. So we need a way to go through um, using some code. So I'm going to set up a counter variable and I'm just going to use a uh, some calculations to get at these numbers here. So my counter is 0 and I'll just mod that with a 4. Mod 4 which will give me a um, 0 to begin with and a 1 um, on this frame which I want really to translate to 125 but a 2 on the next frame when counter is 3 I mod 4 I'll end up with a 3 as the remainder. So um, so this will be cycling through correctly and I can multiply that by the width and end up with our correct position. And kind of in a similar kind of way I can use a uh, integer division. So on so when y so when counter is uh, 0, 1, 2 and 3 we can divide that by integer 4, we end up with, you know, uh, uh, in, in all four cases, we end up with a number less than 1. So we truncate that because it's integer division, we are ending up with a 0. So only when we kind of reach frame 4, so my numbers are off by 1 here, you'll notice. I'm, I'm using a number 0 when we're looking at a at frame numbered 1. So when I'm on a frame, when we're on a frame 4 here, we divide that by 0, we end up with a 1. And we end up with a 1 for y uh, all through these next four frames. So again, we can multiply that by the width. And then this should be giving us the correct coordinates uh, as we go through. So it'll, it will work up until, up until um, it will work if we uh, bother to increment the counter after. And then I'll need to just reset the counter after I hit, uh, and I have to also use the global scope for the counter, and I'll just need to reset this counter after we hit 16, so um, or 15 in our case. So once counter equals 15, 15, actually it will be 16 at this point because we've incremented it once more, then we'll set it back to 0. And we see our animation happening. It might be happening too quickly. We want to slow that down a little bit. We'll uh, have to, you know, look at using some other method to do that. But I just, I, I'd like to move it around. So maybe I'll just use another variable called px, position x, perhaps, and perhaps to specify its position. Or I guess dx was the destination x. We could use that from the documentation. And that's also a global variable. And we can just kind of continue to move it to the right each time. So it's this number I'm talking about. And we're just moving this whole thing to the right as, it, as it's being redrawn. We're seeing kind of some tracing of the, the um, edges there. So I'll just use a background. But that gives you an idea of using, oh, maybe a background of 255. It gives you an idea of how to use a sprite sheet. It's a little bit... Uh, <laughs> it, it certainly runs it more smoothly on my machine when I'm uh, not capturing it to the to a video, so um, it looks just a little bit choppier there. And there also seems to be you know bits of that border coming through, which um, w you know the other version of the sheet uh, does not contain those, so th we wouldn't see that if we were using the other one. But it was kind of nice having those numbers. So we're just seeing a little bit of the edging coming through, but otherwise I think uh, this is um, you know. It, demonstrates how to uh, make use of a sprite sheet and there's lots of them available on the internet can get you up and running with a, a really great looking animated character in your game really quickly.